So just kind of reflecting on Dylan's performance. I think yeah. he missed his first three passes, but after yeah. that, I mean, it was lights out. You know, yeah. how did you think he uh, he handled everything last week? He thought he did a good job. Thought he thought he did a good job taking care of the football. Did a good job in the red zone. Uh, still things that we got to work on and clean up to start a little faster. Obviously, those first two drives, but did a good job and uh, going to continue to grow. You guys have confidence in him, but especially in fourth downs, it was like fourth and seven, like fourth and seven, fourth and yeah, six. Yeah, back to back weeks. Back yeah. to back weeks now, the confidence yeah. in him to make those throws yeah. and do a dive situation. We got all the confidence in the world in him. I mean, I think that shows by how we're trying to play football and, and be on the attack and, and be the aggressor who we're always going to be. We want production, we want points, and and we uh, we believe in him to, to get us where we need to be. That touchdown run that he had when he pulled the ball and ran yeah. it in for a score, is yeah. it just the evolution of his game? Is he's getting more, more comfortable with what he's seeing out there? A absolutely it is. So, and again, I think we talked about it at the beginning. He's got he's to live situations. Every one of them is going to be new until he gets you know a little further into this thing. So it was good to see him do that, pull the football and, and go score for us. It was a huge play in the game, and, and he'll, uh, he'll continue to do those things. You look at the record book. I mean, he takes over as the the true as a true freshman, yeah. you know, setting the record most yards in a, se in a single season. What does that say about him and his ability to, to be able to, to kind of step up and, and be that kind of quarterback? Yeah, Dylan's gonna have a lot of production. We're gonna win a lot of games with him. Gonna compete for a lot of championships. He's uh, he's put us in a great spot here this year uh, to to do the things that we want to do and got to take care of business Friday night. But he's gonna have a have a great career. Yeah, I'm not sure how many you know true freshmen have you've coached that have been in the situation Dylan has been, but does it seem like maybe freshman quarterback these days are just more advanced than general? Because it doesn't seem like we see it a lot now. Yeah. But it didn't seem like it used to be like that, you know, ten years ago. Yeah, maybe a little bit, um, but I, I think Dylan's pretty special too. I, you know, I've said this from the day he got here, the way he works, the amount of time he puts in in the building, how important it is to him to, to not let his teammates down and to play to, at a high level, championship level is is, uh, is second to none. So I think that's what gives him a chance every single. Every single Saturday, coach, is that even keelness that, that he has? Does that enable him on such fourth yeah, down plays to be able with, to just stay? Without a doubt, everybody's asked maybe what his best strength is. I've continued to say demeanor. You know how he goes about every single day, every practice, every game day. He's the same guy, and so that that without a doubt gives him the calmness and the ability to go out and execute regardless of the situation. And his accuracy throwing the football, like, you know, that has to go into your decisions to whether it's going to be four down territory. If you had maybe had a quarterback that wasn't quite as accurate, maybe you wouldn't be as willing to go for it, right? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime whoever, whoever's taking the snap is going to dictate what you're able to do offensively. He gives us the ability to do what we want to do, which is be the aggressor and, and find ways to find our matchups and throw the ball down the field and do the things we want to do to score points and, and be productive. What's been your, kind of your perspective sitting back and watching him kind of develop as a leader? I know he said that's something that he's been working on. Yeah. But, you know, he's a young guy coming in, learning sure. the way. And, you know, nearly didn't come in as a starter, but now he's been the starter. So yep. how have you seen him grow in that role? Yeah, I, I think just from a communication standpoint, how he communicates on the sideline, how he communicates in practice, you know, how he communicates when he's in the building. I think I think those are the things that show that he's grown as a leader and, and taking control of, of the unit. What about his personality? I mean, he seems such a, after games, he's very quiet. He doesn't yeah. give a lot of, you know, he's, he's yeah. very hard on himself, it almost seems like. Sure. Every time he catches on me, it's on me. What about his personality? What have you seen from him that really kind of stood out in the last three, nine games or something? But he's he's his biggest critic. You know, expectations, He's they're, they're going to be higher for him than, than anybody else that's talking to him or talking about him, which that's what you love about him, especially the guy that's touching the football every single snap. So, um, you know, his attitude, again, his demeanor, the way he acts in the building is, is pretty impressive. When you're recruiting him, obviously you get a good sense for not only his talent, but him as a person. But when he gets on the field, that first game, that second game, what are some things that he has done that maybe um, answered questions for you that you had about him going in? What are some things that he's done that answered questions for you? Yeah, I, I, you know, I still I, I go back to Pitt being on the wrong side of it at the end of the game, but we start down 21 nothing and we score 31 unanswered. And I think you go back to that moment and you realize that this kid, yeah, he's 18 years old. He hadn't played a ton of ball, but no moment's going to be too big. He's going to continue to play like it's 0-0 every single snap and, and try to put us in positions to, to win every football game. So I, I go back to that, and, and he's had to live through some things that ha hadn't been you know, perfect, but at the same time, he's grown and, and he's put us in a position right now to go take care of business Friday night and, and get one more win. We know about Tulsa. They've been in a lot of close games. They yeah. usually could have beaten Memphis, Cincinnati, SMU. Yeah. 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 No, they do a great job defensively. You know, they make it hard, make it hard on you. They make you earn it. Fly around. They're physical. Uh, Friday night game up there. We're gonna go have to be our best and, and play at a high level and execute and 
and uh, and go take one for sure. You've got a pretty close relationship, right, with good coach yeah. Montgomery. You yeah. guys coach together, yeah. and, and how far of, do you guys go back? B bunch of history, you know, with a bunch of those guys. I have known uh, Coach Monty for shoot a long time. Since I was 10, 12 years old, so a lot of history with a bunch of those guys. Great guys, great staff, do a, do a dang good job. So yeah. did he get to start like coaching high school? Is yeah. that kind of where the Absolutely. connection started? Because your dad obviously yep. coached high school. Absolutely, was and that, that was where the connection started back in shoot early 90s you know when we all uh, when we all got together and, and been uh, been close since then so did you guys I know your dad coach at Andrews which yeah. was in the Midland area yeah is that that's right, right. And he was, was he at Stephenville he never was we were in Dublin for a couple of okay. years which is which is close to that and that's where everybody kind of stayed close and got even more close and and continued the relationship that we got now chef have you had any contact with Kendall about what's, what's going on up in Florida State? I hadn't talked about it really haven't so just shoot they're trying to focus on one day at a time, just like just like we are here. Yeah, it's gonna. It was chilly up in Philly, but I didn't know. I didn't mean I was gonna run. Uh, <laughs> but the, the, the Tulsa is gonna be probably in the mid 40s to kick off, or maybe high 40s. Yeah. Does that temperature sort of change? Maybe Dylan's grip on the ball. Do you, do you, do you know, scout for it, that? Man, it really doesn't. I mean, we're gonna go strap up and play ball and get ready to again go go take it, and because we're gonna have to. But uh, no, that won't change anything. Also, appreciate it. Good. Thanks a lot, Thank Coach. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.